Hey guys, today I am going to go on a rant about stores that get upset when they get called out for canceling cards that were ordered. Now, this happens a lot of times when there's a ban and restriction announcement. Like Jace. Jace and Bloodbraid Elf are very good examples. So people will immediately go try to buy them from the store. And then the orders will get canceled because there's many reasons a cancellation is a cancellation. Uh, you could have took the Jaces and Bloodbraid Elves from the store before the banned announcement if you felt like, oh, they were going to be unbanned. You could have... And here's a something that is very unique in the Magic realm, but not unique in my realm, uh, which is websites and digital marketing. If you promise something, you should deliver it, even if it costs you money to do so. So not every one of our projects, we make money. There was an education platform, a tutoring company we worked with. We promised to deliver a website. The back end of it uh, was Daylight. Uh, you might not know what Daylight is, but Daylight is a, I think it's C-sharp. And so it's a language that we at the time didn't really have all that much experience in, but I was assured by my head developer that yes, we could do it or we could learn it very fast. That didn't happen, so it took more time. We had to outsource that part where because we couldn't do it. But we had to deliver the website. So the website was 5,500. We ended up, because again, we paid a third party vendor that we weren't expecting to pay. We ended up losing $2,750 on that account. Now, that account uh, and that client was able to give us more work, so eventually it bounced out, but it's never a really good feeling to do so. So in this case, what they could have done is they could have said, you know what, we oversold it. It's a cancellation. What we're going to do is we're going to buy a new foil Jace at market price or whatever the price is, and we're going to replace it. So we're going to take the loss. You typically never see this uh, in magic stores. I haven't seen it. But here's the truth. If the store had done that, instead of a negative post, they would get a very glowing positive post. They would get way more business. Now, again, I'm in Inc. And that backlink from Inc. Magazine, uh, Inc. Online, you can read an article about me. I am in Inc. is $17,000 if I had to pay for it. $17,000 is the value of doing something nice or doing something, saying something kind of interesting. So what is the value of a store that, let's say Jace goes from $350, I believe was the foil Jace, original Jace to 500. So that $150, not only do you not get the bad press on Reddit, supposedly Facebook and YouTube, right? you get good press. You get very good press. And is that press worth $150? Yes, it is. It definitely is. So a lot of times when I see these store owners and they're canceling orders, they are misunderstanding the value of a backlink or they're misunderstanding the value of social media and social trends. If I were that store, and I do have a store, and someone ordered a foil jace and we had sold it the night before, which is reasonable, I would have purchased a new foil jace and sent, sent it to him for the same price he purchased, even if I would lose money. Because I know that guy's gonna be delighted, he's gonna be a customer for life, he's gonna tell all his friends, and he'll post on Reddit, and I'll be able to make an MTG Line video about how awesome, you know, and he'll probably write something about how awesome our store is. We'll get good reviews, et cetera, et cetera. So, is that worth the $100, $150? Absolutely. So to save pennies, they destroy their business, right? Uh, it's, uh, and the, you know, the guy tried to talk to me on Facebook. He tried to comment or he has comment on the video. He has like a little kid commenting on my Facebook now. At the end of the day, be exceptional. The only way a retail store can survive today with Amazon, you look at Amazon, you look at, that shoe company, I'm trying Zappos. The customer service is insane. Why do people buy magic cards from Amazon now? It's easy, it's shipped to you. Great customer service. Should the cards be damaged or Amazon will fix it. 
So there's been many times I've ordered something on Amazon and without even like, even Tokyo Taco Mode. So I had my beef with them because they kind of like bait and switched me. But then I recently ordered from them. They sent it from Japan in two days. I don't know how it got to me two days, free shipping. And that was delightful. That was amazing. And I will order from them again. And I would recommend them to all my friends. And just by mentioning t uh, them to you right now, they have to save $40. It was like a $40 iTunes gift card they didn't give me. But then they gave it to me and they made sure that I was aware that, oh, we had some internal problems. I mean, it was very nice emails. So I did eventually get my iTunes gift card for fake grand order. And it was a good experience and I ordered from them and the shipping came, the stuff came from Japan in two to three days, which is insane. Uh, I was not expecting that. But yeah, I, I like the store now. I used to dislike the store because I felt like they bait and switched me, but now giving their shipping and maybe you say I have special treatment because I have a YouTube channel, but I would like to think that's not true and they, they probably don't know about the YouTube channel. And that's great customer service. So a lot of times to save $100, I mean, it's not worth it. It's literally not worth it. As a marketer who does a lot of social media management, a lot of digital marketing, $100, $150, our clients would pay that all day to have a positive Reddit post or a positive uh, backlink, even a backlink from a news, local newspaper or you know a, a review. I mean, someone, and that's what you know these stores are, I, I get it. It's a difficult, I have, I understand the economics of running a store far better now. Uh, it's very difficult to keep the lights on. It's very difficult to keep employees. Uh, it's the profit margins are very tiny and they they aren't something that, um, they're not something any sane person would do. Therefore, when a video about a, a store comes online, obviously the store is going to take you know, the store is not going to be too happy about it, but a cancel order is a cancel order. And there are ways to go around cancel orders. A, if you don't want to delight your customer, you just want to not, don't post a card. You know when the banner restriction list is, you know what cards are in a ban list, just take down all the cards that could possibly be spike or be over ordered. And that, that too helps your reputation. So I don't get it. You know, I know people like when I make these videos, people who own the stores are upset at me that I made a video and then they have this really uh, complicated, uh, oh, well, this person bought the Jason the store this night and then no one updated the database right before the banning restriction list. Yeah, possible. I, I never said it was impossible, impossible. That could have happened. But, you know, like, hey, you know when the banning restriction list is, you know what the hot cards are that are going up in price due to that. And yikes, right? I, I mean, it's difficult running a store. I get that. It's difficult running a business. I completely get that. But even if you oversold it, you can do something fantastic. You can do something amazing. And the PR that you get from doing that, from buying adjacent market price and sending it for the price that the person originally purchased it at, that becomes a Reddit post, that becomes an article, that becomes an MTG line video for 27,000 subscribers. What is that worth to you? Is that worth $100? Yeah. To any business, it's worth $100, especially any retail business. The only reason that retail is still around is because some retail outlets have amazing customer service. They really uh, treat their community well. And I don't want to quote something that another, I'm going to quote something another YouTuber said uh, when he said he didn't have a local game store, therefore he doesn't support local game stores. He's a pretty big YouTuber. You can probably guess which, uh, who said that one. I'm realizing that's more and more true uh, as I don't, my local game store, DNA Comics, is no longer carrying magic. Or I guess it carries magic, but no longer has FNM. It no longer has pre-release. It's not sanctioned. I don't have a store. I don't want to find a new one because I liked my old playgroup. And now I have a more casual playgroup. But uh, it's becoming very clear to me that if your store has bad customer service, it's not doing a good job, why pay more?
when it's easier and cheaper to buy online. Amazon is something, uh, sports and more on Amazon is something, and eBay is something else as well. So anyway, let me know if you agree or you disagree. Bye, guys.